everyone and welcome to another video. In this video we want to cover up a topic that comes up so much in our comments and DMs on Instagram which is where to live when you first move to Singapore. It can be so difficult to find somewhere. When you first move somewhere new it's a lot of pressure to put on yourself to find somewhere to live. When we first moved here we found out that if you wanted to have a short-term rental minimum amount of months you're allowed to rent it for was three months. So we looked for a service department which we moved into and it was a really good place for us to start off but as we were living there for a while we found out that they might not have been following all the rules so we felt a bit uncomfortable and wanted to get out as quickly as possible. One of the best ways that people can live in a flexible environment in Singapore because Airbnb is illegal here is through service apartments and co-living spaces and we're actually going to go and look at one of those today because Kali Wu have kindly invited us to come and spend a night in their brand new co-living hotel. Since Kali Wu have invited us to stay for the night we've packed up a bag and we just wanted to show you before we went because Gaston Luger, who have sent us some bags in the past and we absolutely love them. I think this is our, These are our third. third bags. The bag I use to go to work every day is from Gaston Luger. The bags we use when we go on holiday for our hand luggage is from Gaston Luger. So we definitely can recommend their bags. They're of very good quality. This time we went for some slightly bigger bags. So I've gone for the Roland 16 inch. And I went for the Splash 16 inch as well. And this is the newer model of the one that I've had previously. It's bigger, has much more storage, but it's still got the same nice design that I really like. And what we like about these is that we can fit our 16 inch laptop in, which can be quite difficult. There's bags of room in here for all of your stuff. I mean, I've massively overpacked for one night and there's still loads of room in the top. And today it is raining and it rains a lot in Singapore, but both of these bags are fully waterproof. So you don't have to worry about your things getting wet. And it also has a secret compartment at the back. So that's why I've got the laptop. So if we were traveling, I would feel nice and safe knowing that nobody could steal it from my bag without me noticing. And I think they're all made out of like vegan leather. So they're all harm free from animals. They look really nice. They're really durable. I mean, as I said, I've used mine every day. And yeah, we absolutely love them. If you're interested in getting Gaston Luger bags as well, you can get 15% off until the end of May with our code ROBINJENNY2022. We're gonna put that in the description and on the screen. And if you order them before May, before the 27th of May, then you can get a free card wallet and with every purchase that you make. So since we're all packed and ready to go, we're going to go and head over to Kaliwu and go and meet a member of their team to show us around the place and then we will show you guys what the room looks like. So we've arrived at the room and we just got shown around all the facilities by the guys here. We got to look around a few different kinds of rooms um, suitable for a few different kinds of people and we'll get into those in a little bit but first of all we wanted to show you around our room which is a king suite so as you can see we have got a really enormous bed so two people can definitely fit very easily in this room because this bed is really big and then there's still lots and lots of room around it we have a nice big window so you get lots of lovely natural light we've also got a wardrobe so you can put all of your belongings in here. Something that's quite interesting is if you're staying longer term, which is really the kind of idea behind Kaliwu, you get to keep the bedding at the end. It's kind of part of the package, so it's super hygienic. Each new person that comes gets to get a new set of bedding and then take, them, take it with them onto their new home afterwards. You also have this desk area. So if you're you know, still needing to work from home, it's really good to have this big desk area. You've even got drawers to put like your notebooks and pads and things in. And then you also obviously have a kitchenette because this is designed as somewhere to be potentially living for a few months, um, up to two years maximum. You get provided with all your pots and pans and your chopping boards, your knives and forks, chopsticks and things so that you can cook here. Some of the rooms have kitchens that are not within the room. Um, which might be suitable if you're here with a family and perhaps you don't want your children to be able to access the hobs and things that's also possible they also have a washer drying facility within your own room so you don't need to go and lug 
and take your washing you know, to another facility. You can do it right here in your own room. But if you have any big items, they also have big washer dryer machines um, in the communal area downstairs, which we will show you later. So there's lots of options. And of course you have a fridge which has a small freezer in it as well. So you can keep all of your food nice and fresh. So it really is just a really compact little studio essentially. And <laughs> I've almost forgotten to mention the bathroom. So the bathroom in this room is actually really big. So you have a full waterfall shower, lovely sink area, a huge mirror which has this light that you can turn on and off which is cool. Because we're here for more of a hotel stay, so that, like I mentioned, you have the option to stay for a couple of nights as a hotel guest, or you can stay longer term as a co-living guest. Um, so we've got a few shampoo, conditioner, toothpaste, that sort of thing. But yeah, it's a lovely bathroom, and I especially like all the tiles. Something that they said they really tried to do is kind of preserve the Peranakan look of this place. So they tried to keep that feel with the use of tiles and decor and a lot of the stuff they've done here they've just renovated what already existed rather than putting brand new modern stuff in which I think is really nice it adds a bit of a you know feel to it rather than it just being like a generic hotel which is really nice and they also have left this in our room which we didn't actually notice when they let us into the room so I hope they don't think we're rude for not saying thank you immediately but they left us some little um, goodies here which is very very sweet they wrote us a nice little postcard which has like an old image of Keppel Road in Singapore. I think that's one of their other properties, the Keppel Road Collywood. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Now I feel really rude. I know, I'm so... Oh, wow, look at this. And it comes with glasses, so we can just drink out the glasses later. That's so kind. That's Thank you, nice guys. Person. I feel bad that we didn't notice this as soon as we came in, but we noticed it now, so thank you. Yeah, so we met uh, Edward and chin and so thank you very much for our gift so first of all i wanted to explain who this kind of space is suitable for and actually collie is quite interesting because they have the option to stay as a hotel guest so if you are visiting singapore or maybe you just need to move out of your apartment for a few days because they're doing some works on it you can come and stay here for a couple of days couple of weeks just like a normal hotel but really the kind of main aim for Kolliwu is to promote co-living. And this is really good for several kinds of people. So first of all, expats like us. And like we mentioned at the beginning of the video, we get a lot of messages from people asking what to do when they first get here. Where should they go and live? How can they go and make friends? Like it's such a minefield, they have no idea where to even start. So coming somewhere like here means that A, you have somewhere that you can live really flexibly, you know, for a short or as long as you want to stay until you find somewhere permanent that you want to move into. But B, it's also a space where you have like shared communal areas and things like that so that you can meet fellow newbies to Singapore or just other Singaporeans living in the building to help you kind of first meet some new friends when you move to the country. And I think that's something that's really, really important. It's something that we think you guys that are messaging us um, that are moving here will find really useful. So in summary, this place is good for expats who have just moved here and want some flexible living arrangements until they find somewhere permanent to settle down. It's good for Singaporeans that are just looking for somewhere to stay for a short while while they're waiting for other things to finish like their apartments. And it's good for visitors that just coming to stay here for a short while and either wanna come and stay as a hotel guest or maybe there your in-laws are coming to stay and they don't want to stay in your apartment with you they can come and stay here for a couple of months and have their own kitchen able to cook somewhere that feels a little bit more like home so as jenny said Kollywu and Kollywu Amber specifically is pretty good for anyone because they've got a whole range of different facilities here the first room we got showed around was the superior room and this was like a double room it had a bathroom but no kitchenette, so it's the only one of the rooms that we haven't seen to, that we saw today that didn't have any kitchen facilities. That was a nice, simple room, that would be really convenient for a shorter stay maybe. So after the superior room, we were shown the Premier Queen Suite. And this is actually a really nice room, there are two of them next to each other and there's like an A and a B. So if you're a family, you could, ha you could rent out both rooms and then you could be w near each other and there's like an adjoining area. There's a kitchen in there, like our one, but bigger. 
and then it's got double aspect windows so you can have loads of natural light in there which is really good because they've got the huge desk. You spend a lot of time working from home, you know that you need you know, a good amount of space to do that, and that's a pretty perfect room for doing that. And then obviously, you know, they've still got the same bathroom and the big bed and, and all the facilities in the, in the kitchen as well. So then we looked around the junior suite, and this is a bit of a different room to the one we're in and the Premier Queen, in that it doesn't have a kitchenette in the room. So it's almost like a small apartment. There are two bedrooms which have the ensuite in there and a desk so you can work from there. But then there's also a kitchen area between the two rooms. So it's private just to those two rooms. If you're in a family, you could hire out both of the rooms and then you could make it like a two bedroom apartment for the two of you. It means the dangerous equipment in the kitchen is away from the children if they're in one of the rooms. Or if you're on your own and you don't want to have the kitchenette in your room, then you can use the kitchenette and then also have your, your bedroom yourself. And actually that could be a really good option because then if someone else was in the room next to you, you could get to know them straight away if you're a newcomer to Singapore. That's a really good way, I guess, to meet people uh, just kind of as you see them in and around Kolliwu, and that's one of the things that they really you know, strive for at Kolliwu with the co-living concept, is that you can get to know people and meet other people while you're staying here. And then finally, the fourth type of room we've seen is this room, the King Suite, which we've, show we've shown you around. You know, it's kind of a blend of, of all of them. It's just an individual room. So that's pretty much everything about the rooms here at this property. We're gonna go and have a closer look around at some of the communal areas and some of the pretty murals they have throughout the place. So Kolliwu Amber is in Katong area and it's very close to a bus stop, you just go down the road and within the next year there's going to be an MRT here. There's a lot of things nearby, so within 10 minute walk of here you can get to the beach. Within about a 15 minute walk I think you can get to a 24 hour supermarket and then there's a shopping mall near here as well, so you've got everything you need just very close by. One of the things that we've done at uh, this Amber property is they've got these murals, there's one on this side of the building one on the other side of the building, and then inside there's another one, and the story is that there's a bird on both of the outside ones, and then the one on the inside, the two birds have come together, and that mural is where both those two birds meet. Very romantic. So literally a less than five minute walk down the road, is the Katong shopping centre. So we're going to grab some chicken rice and head to the beach where we're going to spend the afternoon because the weather's really picked up and it's lovely and sunny so we thought we'd make the most of it. rain is definitely about to come so we've had a paddle we're gonna finish our drinks and make our way back to Collywood before we get soaking wet. We're now back in our Collywood room and feeling very cozy after our day at the beach running home before it rained. <laughs> we've got into our pyjamas, we're ready for bed even though it's super early still. Yeah, we've had a lovely day and we're really happy that we were, you know, invited to come stay here. It's been really nice to experience, especially since I think this will be so useful for you guys because it's a question that we get asked so much. They have kindly offered us a 10% discount so we'll leave details for that in the description below and you know we'll leave a link to the website as well so you can find out all the details about the different kinds of rooms we also have our discount code for the gaston lugan bags down there and of course leave us a comment with any questions and we will see you in another video bye guys